about seven. And uh, I want you guys to see I get what I get to my little town. Just a little interesting side note while I'm up here. Check this dude out. In memory of Albert A. Stewart, aged 64 years and 28 days, lost on SS Titanic, April 15, 1912. This is also up here on Mound Hill Cemetery. The gentleman in that truck right there Gave me a good bit of history about this, and so this guy was lost. I mean, he, there's not a body here. It's just a memorial. Some of his family had set up for him later. This is, well, this is a Stewart plot. You can see there's a Stewart there. There's a Stewart there. Stewart there. But also, while I was speaking with him, <clears throat> this is the one I believe it is. He said back around 30, 1930, around bootlegging time. I think this is the one he pointed to. He said, uh, got this uh, <clears throat> guy plus area got a call from Chicago. They wanted eight, I believe he said eight plots of burial plots. He said, after a while, uh, a call came. They said, we're, we're going to be sending you a body. Well, I guess what they had received was. A body full or a casket with about 180 pounds of bricks that they buried. Coming to find out, people's coming up and down this hill and they was wondering why. Make a long story short, I guess from what he told me, the fella in the truck, is they would put bootleg liquor right there. That's where the switch out was done. People put their money, grab the liquor. Moonshine. 1930. Something to think about, isn't it? So, a bootlegging. <laughs> it was some big money back in. Anyways, I went up on that hill to start the Bob Evans thing because that's where he's buried. And I got sidetracked talking to the guy in the background, that white truck back here. If you'll watch the video, you'll see that white truck. Had a lot of interesting things to tell me about the Galpus area. The moonshine thing, that was from him. The, I knew the grave was there, the gravestone for the Titanic person that was lost. But uh, he also told me about the settlers. Started out, I think he said the first place they settled in Ohio was Marietta, and they worked their way down so far, and then he got sick and buried some people in the Gallia County area, and then a lot of people stayed because of that reason. So uh, he was a very helpful guy and very friendly. I appreciate his time, and I appreciate you guys watching me, and this vlog is done.